Good morning and welcome to another edition of Daily Brew, your morning spiritual pick-me-up. I'm Mark Preuss, pastor of the Naples Seventh Adventist Church. You know when the God determined that the people were not going to go into the promised land and they mourned and they still tried to do things their own way and God said, no, that's not going to happen. Something interesting happened as they went back and now as they're circling around and, and sojourning in the desert for, for a while, they come up to the borders of Edom. Now, if you are an avid Bible student, you will understand that Edom is their long lost cousins because they're descendants of Esau, Jacob's older brother, whom Jacob, who is now became Israel, stole the birthright or I should say the blessing, because he had bought the birthright. So what happened? In this transaction, Moses sends emissaries over to the king of Edom, and they ask him, may we have permission to cut through through your land, where we need to get to? And the response came back, no, you cannot. Moses went as far as to say, we are not going to stop stray away from the road we're not going to go through your fields we're not going to kill your cattle we're not going to steal your women we're not going to do any of these things we just want to get from point a to point b and here's the response that was given to them it's found in the book of numbers chapter 20 verse 18 it says then edom said to him you shall not pass through my land lest i come out against you with a sword Growing up, this response is what we would call, these are fighting words. That's exactly what it was. That you will not go through this or we will go to war. Why do you think they acted this way? Could it be that they have not forgotten how Jacob had treated Esau? How he sold or bought his their father's birthright? and then stole the blessing from Isaac. And then later on, as they met years after the fact, they had agreed to meet up in a place, but Jacob gave his brother the old okie doke and never showed up. We have clearly seen that in the Bible, God wants us to treat people fairly. We're going to see this in in future episodes. But more specifically, the way that we continue to treat people will eventually come back to either hurt us or it will come back to help us. In this instance, it did not help the Israelites at all. As you go about your day, think through the behavior or think through how you have treated others. Do you think that if you were to come up to somebody that was you have not spoken with in a long time, do you think they will treat you favorably? Or do you think that they will treat you unfavorably? I pray that as you look at this aspect of your life, may God give you the humility to ask for forgiveness, or may He give you the wisdom to be able to ask for the right things because of a positive relationship you've had. May God bless you.